What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Fly Daddies. I'm heading down to the creek again. I'm going to try to catch some bait for the upcoming tournaments, which you've probably already seen because catfishing takes priority. Uh, and you know if I'm going down to the creek, I'm going to be cart fishing too. So that's mostly what you guys will be seeing is the cart fishing. I might throw a little bit of bait fishing in there just for filler or something like that. But I'm trying something I haven't tried yet, and that's uh, another one of those NGT baits. Uh, scents. I'm mixing it in with my, my pack bait. This one is uh, halibut, like the fish, like the big flounder up there in Alaska and all that. Uh, not really sure why that's something that carp like, but I'm guessing if they're, they made it into a scent like that, somebody's had luck with it before, so I'm going to give it a shot. Maybe it'll be that secret bait that no one would ever think of using, and it works like crazy. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll see how it pans out. All right, guys, so I've had this bait, it's, this pack bait. It's been soaking since my house. It's about a 10-minute drive here, and then down, come down here and get soaked up, or get hooked up with bait. It's probably been sitting for about almost 20 minutes now. Um, so it's actually, it's very easy to pack on here. It wants to stay in very well. Uh, that, that panko, the longer it sits, the, uh, the more it it draws in that uh, the the corn juice and the uh, just the stickier it gets the more solid it gets it's like play-doh now so but that halibut that I put on there is so strong it's definitely the strongest bait and then as usual on this one I got the linear bait co juicy pear field corn uh, I'm gonna try something different for the other one but for my favorite rod favorite setup the one I want to actually catch fish on, I'm putting the juicy pear on. To be honest, I wanted it down there a little bit more, but that'll do. It's deep and it's sunny, so that's a, an okay spot. Put that bait feeder on, make sure it's engaged. All right, so for this one, I picked some field corn a little while ago. And I, I soaked it in water, and that really didn't seem to do a whole lot. And I, it wasn't really dry. So I, I put it in one of these medicine containers uh, with some Scopex scent. And hoping it would suck some of it in. I don't know if it's going to work. This corn's really hard. Like, I actually have to use the drill. So I don't know if the, I don't know if the carp's really going to like it or not. But I'm going to give it a shot here. Like I said, it's got... It's got the Scopex on there. You can kind of smell it. It's um, it's not as strong. You can actually smell a lot of corn to it still, which we all know that's not a bad thing for carp. So this doesn't work for a little while, or after a little while, I'll switch over to linear bait co because I'm I only got about two and a half hours, and I want to catch at least one carp. So all right, you guys. So I'm about to start bait fishing. I saw a couple sunnies swimming around here, but I'm pretty sure I spooked them with my. Uh, with my pack bait, I got it stuck in the tree and it fell down right in front of where uh, I want to fish. So hopefully I didn't spook them all. Little itty bitty start. But I got to go for numbers because we got two tournaments back to back and I need a lot of bait for it. So, And he's actually a usable size. He's a little small, but he's usable. With how sunny it is right now and warm, I'm going to let my, my trout magnet sink a little bit further than usual. I think they're going to be a little bit deeper today. There he is. He was down deep. It's a perfect size sunfish right there. Red breast sunfish. These guys are pretty hardy too. Not the best. You know, I think green sunfish and maybe pumpkin seeds are better than these guys, but these guys are pretty, pretty tough all the same. One disadvantage of the carp fishing uh, while bait fishing, there's actually two. One, it limits where I can cast here with those lines out there. And two, I can't really walk too far along this bank without getting too far away from my, my rods. You know, they can, this carp can hit at any moment. And I don't want to, don't want to be too far away and let too much line get pulled out. And they're bait feeders, they're not going to pull my rod in, but they'll pull that line and get wrapped around something. Another very, very good sized sunfish here. 
they're pretty much all red breast down here. I've caught a couple green sunfish and there's just a couple, there's some bluegill, but these red breasts are definitely the, uh, the main species of sunfish in here. Got a houseboat here, or a pontoon boat. It's really good for fishing out here. Yeah, it's a small creek and he did the best he could though. Kind of tucked away behind these trees. I'm sure he didn't see me. All right, even with that boat, I think I'm gonna catch one, one on this cast. Slightly different area than where I've been casting. There it is. Boom. It's kind of like bass fishing. Get them in quick. Don't want to lose them because we need nice. these. Time to explore a little bit. And by explore, I just mean kind of walk this bank some. Uh, problem is I got I can't get far, like I said earlier, because I got these rods out. I don't want to get too far away from them. I'm actually going to uh, tighten these a little bit. So if I do get a hit, I don't lose as much line. So I'm going to go up here a little bit. Feeling lucky on this cast, guys. I had a good feeling, huh? That's a big one. Well, it's not huge, he's perfect, actually. This guy, look at the colors. Good looking fish. This one's a toad. Look at this guy. Hey, that's a big one. That's a good fish right there. All right. I'm sitting there changing uh, colors on my trout magnet and this thing started going. I just happened to be right here for once. This is on the Linear Bait Co. Oh, come on, buddy. With that halibut pack bait. And he's trying really hard, to, like always, to get into stuff. All right, I got him turned. He's coming back towards me now. I don't think he's monstrous. I don't even have the... I think about it, I don't even have the net set up. Let me do that. Did I have to? There we go. Well, he managed to get into the other line a little bit. Uh, getting into the danger zone. Oh, he's not bad. See him out there? Not bad at all, actually. Freaking horse. He didn't like that. Oh, he's in the weeds. Come on, swim back out. Swim back out. This thing doesn't have anything at the... It's, it's hard to net with that thing. Let's just say that. There we go. Wow, that was painful. Right, almost stepped on my reel again. Whew, that guy's heavy. That guy's real heavy. Good hook set. Look at that, right there in his mouth. 
All right, let me get a weight on him before I even get him out. All right, 13.37 with the net. This thing's about a pound and a half, so he's about 12 pound fish. That's, that's one of the better ones down here for me. All right, let's get a good look at him. Glad he hit on that one. Look at this guy. Solid fish. Just, just a horse so every way you look at him. I'm trying to get some light on him. It's a 12 pounder. Every bit of 12 pounds. Let him go. All right, guys. First carp down. Caught it on that halibut bait. Of all things, that's crazy. But uh, even though I caught one fish out of here, I think I might move just because my main goal is to catch sunnies right now and it's kind of slowed down. So I wanna, maybe I'll move down to my, my normal spot with all the snags and go, no, you know what, I'm gonna move up.